Hello everyone and welcome to my second ever tour review. I will be reviewing the Samurai Red Ranger or Samurai Ranger Fire from the the second set of Samurai figures. Now, I, I have the Mega Mode version but of them here so I can't compare the two. Um, but they're the same size and I'm going to go ahead and show them, show the individual weapons that came with them and things. And uh, I'll show the packaging and the price range and everything. Uh, anyway, we'll go to the packaging first. The packaging is very different from the first uh, set of figures, actually. Uh, here's the packaging. This is the basic packaging for the, the Red Ranger. You can see it's different. You can see that there's Sabans here at the top. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's Sabans here at the top. I'm still gonna use my camera. And it wasn't on the first time. You can see the Red Ranger and you can see the glare. You can see the it says fire down here. If you can see it, can anyone see it? Okay. On the back, it's different as well. It doesn't have the Samurai story. As you can see, it shows individual uh, figures. Uh, there's Decker. Right there, there he is. There's Decker. There's the the Blue Ranger, the Gold Ranger, Mega Mode Gold Ranger, the Red Ranger, and the Blue Ranger. And then here, this part here, it shows in the weapons that come with it. As you can see, it's different because here it has the, you know, the rangers, the five individual rangers here, and uh, that wasn't on the first time, and there's no story anymore. They took up the story, and you can see right here it says only on Nickelodeon and all that stuff. See, it shows the five rangers. There. I think it's very good packaging. Uh, everything else is standard. You can see the kanji for fire on the side here. Everything. Okay, <clears throat> packaging's done. Okay, I'm going to go with the figure first. This is what the the figure looks like. Up and we can see it. This is the basic figure. Uh, the same articulation is the same. You have a uh, arm articulation here. You have the the boot that the glove rotates. I also have elbow articulation as well. Now there's no ball joint and neck on this. Uh, and everything. Uh, the head can turn. Full. There's just a degree angle, but there's no ball joint and neck. Uh, the legs can, you know, do the whole standard range articulation. Legs can go up and down, bend the knee, and uh, it's, it's pretty much it for articulation. Uh, oh yeah, and the the boot covers can rotate as well. A full thing, six degree angle. Okay. Uh, he's he's very well painted actually. You can see the back here is actually painted. You can see here full paint and the belt is fully painted uh, <clears throat> and everything and it's actually really well done I think they really did a really good job you can see the kanji and everything clearly you can see everything it's like really really clear and really good now I go with the weapons that came with them uh, here come uh, the Samurizer actually a small Samurizer version came with them and uh, you can see it here and this is the Samurizer that came with the um, figure and uh, yeah you, I guess this goes on any part of it uh, I'm not sure what part this actually goes on but uh, I think it just put it in his hand maybe I don't know anyway uh, and next is the samurai katana which actually uh, it's very different from the from the, uh, the mega blade uh, you can see it's the standard blade you, you can see the disc here you can see the disc. Can anyone see it? Yeah, there, there's the, uh, here it is. It's basically the silver paint here, and it's just gold and silver, uh, and everything. It's, it's, it's colored, sort of. Anyway, last but not least, we have the Fire Smasher in the five, in the Beetle, uh, the Beetle Blaster mode, the five disc Beetle Cannon. And, uh, you can see the kanji for fire here. And uh, I kind of understand why they didn't bring the, the Fire Smasher back in, because they already used it with Mega Mode Red. So uh, I understand that. But, uh, and everything. And I'm probably going to try it. Uh, the weapons. I'm going to put the weapons on him. Uh, firstly, the weapons fit pretty well in his hands, actually. Uh, here is the Red Ranger with the sword. You can see it fits pretty well, actually. It fits pretty well in his hand. I think it, it's, it's nice. Um... Let's see, it's kind of side of your thing. Okay, and then uh, it it's kind of loose when you put it in the holster. Uh, 
like when you put it in the holster here, it's as you can see, it's a little, it's a little loose. You can tell it's a little bit loose there. But anyway, I'm not gonna try the the. I'm sorry, I, I kind of have a cold, but um, the five day speedo cannon, and uh, you have to put it very high on his. He get you have to put it at a certain condition, a certain position, I mean, uh, where it actually stands. It takes uh, some time, but here's what it looks like with, you know, with the five-disc beetle cannon attached to him. And, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, it's like a giant bazooka. Of course, I know what it is, but anyway, I'm going to show what it looks like. I'm going to stand it up, um, and it's going to take some time. Because you have to put it in a certain position. It's put it like pretty high for it to stand actually on its own. And uh, I'm going to do that real quick. Um, so I stand it up on this package. I think it's going to work. One second. Come on. Some going to work here. Come on. Get, work with me. You worked earlier. This is very convenient. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is taking a long time. One second. Anyway, uh, regardless of that, he t it takes a while to stand. You put it in a certain position for it to stand. I'm, I stop going to work with me right now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for the figures. Uh, standard articulation. Uh, weapons are very nice, I think. I think they're really nice figures, uh, even though the size. Uh, prices range. I, I got him at a Walmart for, uh, well, seven bucks. wasn't bad, actually. Did not find the Gold Ranger yet. Uh, I've looked for him countless times, countless Walmarts and stuff. I haven't found him yet, but I don't know. But, uh... Anyway, I uh, hope you liked the review, and I hope it helps people out. I hope, I'm sorry about the camera angle. I'm still getting used to the camera. But, uh, alright, you can like it, or comment it, or whatever. Uh, anyway, this is Geoff024 signing off. Thank you.